Hello, welcome back. Look what I've got. <laughs> all right, jokes apart, as the title goes, you all are here for it. This is the Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation from Nika, the most anticipated launch, the most hyped up launch. The only thing Nika didn't do is choose a destination abroad and take all their influencers out there like benefit. Otherwise, it was something that everyone and their grandmothers and their grandmothers' mothers from the grave was also talking about, okay? So I got the shade 10 golden hour and there were two shades, this and there was 08, I think it was olive that I was looking at, but I thought, let me go a little deeper because I'm not too mad about a foundation going slightly deeper than my usual tone. So it is around 10 in the morning and I thought, since we have sunshine, I'll do it in natural light because studio lights tend to just change the tones out here. And here you can see how well it works on my acne prone skin because I feel that if there's anyone who should test out foundation, it should be people who have got acne and proper acne scars because if it can cover their skin, then definitely this is something that you should reach out for if you have beautiful, flawless complexion. Okay, now let me put my two cents about the inclusiveness about this foundation. And if you want to skip my opinion, then you can go right here to the timestamp and check the review out. If you do want to listen to me, here a sister up then. Before I start, do watch the best and worst of Nika. It has helped so many of you buy the perfect products from Nika, Nika's own. I'm not talking about other brands, Nika's own, so that um, you can buy the good ones and avoid the questionable ones, which they have plenty of, all right? There I did say that the Skin Genius Foundation is one of my favorite, but I was really sad that the shade range was absolutely pathetic. In fact, Nika has five of everything. For the longest time, they were stuck in that five number and now they've increased it to 15, which is commendable, all right? And I understand where that cry is coming from. How is it inclusive? It's not inclusive. It definitely isn't. Because if you see till about 07, it is still catering towards the fair and we've got very few to towards that in between and then we've got max four or five towards the darker skin tone and that is still not dark enough but it's a step in the right direction okay because if they don't get the appreciation and that encouragement brands won't do more and more and for the last one year Nika has been working on this formula and because they've been working on it other companies other brands got to hear about it and they were also formulating their own like color bar for instance has now released you know their 15 shades though it looks more of 15 shades of white but Let's give them a chance, okay? And more and more are going to step up. I mean, there is just one brand that is quite stubborn where their shade range is concerned, <coughs> Lakme. Vloggers like Jovita, Shreya, Shalini, uh, Stacy, all of them have been time and again talking about, me including, have been talking about, you know, how they really need to increase their shade range. And it's really pathetic. You have been questioning it towards the brand. Social media has come in such a beautiful time where it takes our voice and knocks on that blood brand's door okay so I'm really happy that Nika has done this because they have that infrastructure they have the money to do this they could have done this before it is pretty late but better late than never and I understand that it's all right direction great initiative all that bullshit but I want a time to come when brands will stop saying very soon we will be launching shades for the deeper skin tone I don't want very soon anymore I want it right now because you have the money I need to do that. All right, so now let's break down about the packaging, the formulation, let's test this one out. And the sad part is Nika no longer looks at UK. I mean, if you check out the website, if you're based in the UK, you just cannot open it, which is quite pathetic to be honest, because you can't even see their website, you can't even choose or have someone bring it for you because you can't see the bloody website. So I hope they'll really improve on that. So this is what the packaging looks like, okay? It's pretty nice, actually. I'm pretty impressed with the outer packaging. Nice, sturdy little box. It says Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation, which I don't understand anti pollution in a makeup. I still don't get that, but okay, we'll go with the flow. Triple Active Action Formula Anti Pollution Deep Hydration, which I'm pretty, pretty stoked about because I believe that this is a foundation that turns into a very soft powder matte, great for oily skin. Okay, it's an oil control foundation, obviously. And most of the oil control foundation tends to dry up your skin after some time. Okay, let's talk about what it claims. It says make your own skin defense game strong with its triple anti-pollution foundation, triple active formula, uh, which will protect you from the city's pollution. Okay, 
whether it is airborne pollution, UV or daily exposure to the blue light, which is important. Blue light is your mobile phones and your computer as well. Uh, nothing stands a chance with this shield. Trust the Ingenious Foundation to do the work. From the ingredients, I can see that it's got silicone. So if you're allergic to silicone, then this might be a foundation that you probably will have to test out. Okay, be careful with this one. Uh, it's paraben free, not tested on animals, which is brilliant about Nika products. And you get about 30 ml of this and you're, it's about 799 rupees, which is pretty steep for um, a college going student for sure. Now this is what the inside packaging looks like, comes in a tube. It is, as soon as I saw this launch, I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what the sleek life proof foundation looks like. It is a ditto packaging. Okay, the only thing is they've written Nika on that and with sleek, they've just put their symbol out here. Exactly the same. The formula of that foundation is brilliant. It's one of my favorite and I will be talking about it in my top foundation for sure. So I'm hoping that this would also live up to that same formulation as that. I'm using a stippling brush. This is from Japanese. I know it's a very small stippling brush. So on one side of the face, I'm just going to use with my brush and on the other side, a sponge. I haven't put any primer and I'm going to see if I can avoid putting a compact powder on top. I will see, okay? Maybe one side I'll put compact powder, the other side I'll just leave it there. I can see that it's a very creamy formula. It's not runny, which is perfect. Very much like the sleep, okay? So the only thing that I applied was a sunscreen about an hour ago. So let's check this one out. And I'm going to stipple this right here. And the shade, it says that it has a very golden undertone, golden hour, okay? It has more of that really golden undertone and I can see a bit of yellowness peeping through, so I'm quite happy. It is something that you need to build on its coverage because it has covered my marks, definitely. But I would probably will have to go with the second pump, okay? And it is really melting away into the skin really well. There's no problem there. All right, not bad. I do like the shade as well. I'm quite happy that I chose the shade. You know, even if it oxidizes, I don't mind, you know, it will just warm up to my right tone. And as soon as you touch it, you do have that little bit of that tackiness. So you think that it's going to make your face oily, which I hope not. And it's settling out here. It feels nice, soft, like a soft matte. I can tell you right now, because of experience of how the foundation is while touching it as well, I feel that this is something that even a person with dry to normal skin can make it work for sure, depending on the kind of primer that you apply underneath. Now, there, are, there is a little bit of that brown spot still peeping through. I'll go with the second pump under the eye. That if you are on a budget and you feel that this is a bit too steep for you and you don't want to use too much of this foundation, please put a very thick concealer underneath, you know, where you have dark circles or pigmentation and then put this foundation. It will work really well. And I'm just going to put that on this side of the face using my finger. And I can tell you right now that it works beautifully more with a sponge, with a damp sponge for sure. As you can see, there is more of that coverage that it doesn't oxidize badly. Well, it's too early for me to say, but so far I can see that it's getting a lot more warmer on my face. You yourself can see that it was looking a little bit pale and all of a sudden it's looking nice towards my tone, a little more yellow. Now I'm taking my all time favorite compact. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. One of my favorite, one of the best compact powder in the makeup business, all right? So we will know how it works, one side with a compact powder, one side without. So now that a minute has passed, I'm just going to buff that in like this. Now see, it has turned into a very soft powder matte. So I have completed my makeup, a very natural glam going on out here. I love the foundation. I just love the way that it is sitting on my face. It hasn't oxidized badly. Just a tad bit, I would say just a 0.5%. It has warmed up to my face, very much like the Skin Genius uh, formula. I do like the one without the compact as well, okay? A slightly more than the one with the compact powder because over here, it's giving me that very nice dewiness. It's not the highlighter. I'm just saying that even when I touch my skin, it's giving me that very soft, 
powder matte but a little more hydrated powder matte over here also i like the fact that i put the compact powder but this is a proper proper matte so i feel that if you have extremely oily skin you can make it work if you have dry skin you can still make it work depending on the kind of primer that you apply underneath it and if you have oily skin just put a compact powder i just love the way this is sitting on my skin so I'm an NC40, so if you're close to my skin tone, I feel 0, 8 and 10 are two shades that you can really make it work. Though I feel that you should go in store and get yourself properly matched. I don't think I do need a primer as well. It is sitting really nicely. I'm very impressed with how this foundation feels on my skin. This is Skin Genius with a lot more coverage, a little more thicker version of the Skin Genius. So I don't have too many negative things to say about this foundation, surprisingly. The only thing I have to say is the packaging. It could have been a little more original than an exact dupe of the sleek one. The second one is the price point. It can be a little expensive for college going students or someone on a budget. And the third factor is because they have the money and infrastructure, they shouldn't have gone with very soon we'll be launching i just wish they launched enough shades for the deeper skin tone as well but i'm hoping they would because the formula is lovely they just need to increase it and they shouldn't wait for the next one year to do so they should do it immediately so let's do the wear test i'll clock in every two or three hours and i'll also take pictures with flash without flash so that you can see you know how it sits on the skin in natural light and i shall give you my ratings all right see you in a bit all right, so I just had to touch up my lip gloss because it's around 2.30, just finished my lunch and I thought I shall do a check-in and I'm liking the way the foundation is sitting on my skin. This could be a video where Nika and I would be best friends and they wouldn't be watching my video with a cross. I like the side which has got no compact powder. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful for every skin type, but here I feel it's soft and it's giving me a lot more hydration than this side that's a proper matte matte. Uh, the side that I baked a little more okay so I will just have to give you a final check-in uh, a final verdict at around 6 30 I think that's good enough time hey guys so my there's no lipstick and my hair is a little messy because I slept I woke up had my tea was cleaning the house I put this foundation to a proper test okay um, all I can tell you it's around six o'clock right now I think it's a good enough time just on this area as you can see there's a bit of a shine because my oil is seeping through and around the mouth area where I didn't put the compact powder there are, there's a little bit it's gone into my line and also it has lifted up lifted off that foundation just ever so slightly in the area that i did bake uh it's fine around the mouth over here on the t-zone area it is oily everywhere else it seems to be fine nice and soft i am actually liking this foundation you guys so if you have oily skin make sure that you carry a compact with you it is necessary if you have dry skin because of that hydrated feel you can still make this work depending on the kind of primer it's a beautiful formulation after skin genius for sure i would still give it a 9 out of 10 it did not oxidize it did not go ashy it is very important for you to get that right undertone and that right shade color and if you can't find your shade matched in those 15 colors that they have provided you then please ask Nika the question to increase that shade range they shouldn't waste any more time with this because they have such a lovely formulation after a very very long time I'm quite excited that they have nailed it where formulation is concerned I think they have done an incredible job on my acne prone textured skin if it sits beautifully I can just imagine how lovely it would be on your normal flawless complexion so let me know in the comment section what you think of this foundation are you going to buy it I don't think I could go any more detail with this review and I shall see you very soon in my next and until later bye for now